Amazing news, everyone. As the operational timeline of the ISS nears its end, concerns about having a timely replacement are growing. But I'm here to tell you that we can breathe a sigh of relief. A commercial space station, Axiom, has just received an exciting update suggesting it may be ready to operate sooner than expected. What changes have just been made to the Axiom space station? How significant is its role in the future of space exploration? Let's dive in and find out on today's episode of Great Space X. 2030 was set as the year the ISS will retire. Replacing the space station is extremely important because it directly impacts the US presence in space, especially amidst the increasing challenge posed by China's station, Tiangong. The situation is even more urgent as Russia plans to leave the ISS two years earlier in 2028. Currently, several commercial stations are being planned to fill this critical gap, with the Axiom space station standing out among them. A unique aspect of the Axiom station is its construction approach. It'll initially be built as an extension of the ISS akin to raising birds in a nest. Once fully constructed, it'll detach and operate independently, a transition anticipated by 2030. However, this timeline raises a significant concern. Given Russia's impending departure from the ISS in 2028, waiting until 2030 could disrupt the US presence in space. So how will it change? The answer lies in a revised construction sequence for the Axiom space station. To understand this, let's first review the original plan. Initially, Axiom Space intended to launch the first service module, HAB-1, as the main living and working quarters for four astronauts. This will be followed by the HAB-2 module to double the station's volume. Afterward, the Research and Manufacturing Facility module, equipped with airlocks for extravehicular activities and a glass observation room, would be launched. Finally, the power and thermal module would provide power for the station, enabling it to detach and operate independently by 2030. Under the new plan, the sequence is adjusted to prioritize the station's power capabilities. The PTM, now renamed the Payload Power Thermal Module, will be launched first. This module will enable the station to generate power independently and separate from the ISS sooner if necessary. After the PPTM's launch, the HAB-1 module will connect to it, followed by a new, dedicated airlock module for EVA activities. Then, the HAB-2 module and the RMF module with its observation room will complete the station's construction. The shift in priorities is strategic. By launching the PPTM first, the station gains free flight capability immediately upon its installation and connection. This allows Axiom Space to separate the station from the ISS at any point, making it a viable replacement for the ISS as early as 2028. This change was further clarified by Mark Greeley, Axiom Space's chief operating officer and Axiom Station program manager, who explained the result, free flight capability after the launch and berthing of PPTM, allowing us to add modules while on orbit once we have separated from station. Our goal is to ensure a smooth transition from a government to a commercial platform, maintaining a continuous human presence on orbit to serve a community of global customers and partners to include NASA. The update emphasizes that this new approach will enable the Axiom space station to become an independent orbital platform as early as 2028, aligning perfectly with the year Russia plans to leave the ISS. This ensures the US retains its presence in space without disruption. Additionally, the new plan supports national objectives such as preparing the ISS for decommissioning and its eventual deorbit by the decade's end. Progress on the PPTM module is already accelerating, Axiom Space's partner, Thales Alenia Space, is constructing the module in Turin, Italy. To save time and resources, its design closely mirrors that of HAB-1 and HAB-2. Recent updates show the pressure shell of the PPTM module nearing completion, with plans to ship it to Axiom Space's headquarters in Houston by fall of 2025 for further integration of internal structures and systems. If all goes as scheduled, the PPTM could launch as early as 2027, giving it about a year attached to the ISS for stabilization and operational testing before separation. Meanwhile, the HAB-1 module has also made progress. Earlier this year, Axiom Space reported the completion of key components including the pressure vessel, module shell, and hatches. However, its launch timeline has shifted multiple times, from 2020 to later dates, including 2024, 25, and most recently, 2026. 
Previously, these delays coupled with financial challenges led Axiom Space to consider downsizing the station to just two modules, HAP-1 and the PTM. Under the revised plan, though, the adjusted timeline and strategic prioritization suggest a more feasible and less rushed schedule. With current progress, it's likely that HAP-1 could launch soon after the PPTM module. This change in construction sequence represents a significant improvement over the original plan, offering flexibility and readiness to address potential challenges. The U.S. will no longer face the risk of a gap in its space presence when the ISS is retired. Instead, the Axiom Station will ensure a seamless transition to a commercial platform capable of supporting both government and private missions. In addition to addressing logistical concerns, the updated plan underscores the collaboration between Axiom Space and NASA, as well as the global partnerships essential for the station's success. By aligning the timeline with Russia's departure from the ISS, the U.S. reinforces its commitment to maintaining leadership in space exploration. The PPTM's development and eventual launch will mark a crucial milestone in this transition. Its capability to operate independently ensures that even if other modules face delays, the station can continue functioning as a standalone platform. This flexibility is a testament to the forward-thinking approach adopted by Axiom Space, positioning it as a key player in the future of orbital infrastructure. So, what do you think about this updated plan? Do you prefer the new Axiom Space Station strategy? Strategy to the old one? Respond yes or no in the comments. Then, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to keep following SpaceX's development journey and other exciting advancements in space exploration. Axiom Space's station project will undoubtedly rely heavily on SpaceX for its success. First things first, SpaceX stands out as the most reliable launch provider in the aerospace industry today, delivering an unparalleled combination of launch frequency and reliability. The current capabilities of SpaceX's Falcon rocket provide Axiom Space with the flexibility to select launch schedules that align perfectly with their needs. Furthermore, with the rapid advancements of Starship, SpaceX's massive next-generation rocket, Axiom has the opportunity to leverage a vehicle that promises even higher payload capacity and a robust launch cadence in the coming years. This dependency on SpaceX isn't unique to Axiom Space. Other commercial space station projects, such as the VAST and Starlab space stations, have also partnered with SpaceX for their missions. Even Sierra Space's inflatable module, currently part of the Orbital Reef project, could potentially utilize SpaceX rockets if it decides to expand its options. Beyond launches, the collaboration between Axiom Space and SpaceX extends into astronaut training and operational support. Over the years, SpaceX has launched three Axiom missions to the ISS, providing astronauts with critical experience in space station operations. These missions not only strengthen the partnership, but also position SpaceX as an integral part of Axiom's long-term plans, from construction to station operations. And once operational, the Axiom space station will continue to rely on SpaceX, particularly the Dragon spacecraft, which has proven itself to be the most reliable vehicle for crew and cargo transport. Its track record with the ISS underscores its importance in supporting the operations of commercial space stations like Axiom. This partnership represents an exciting synergy between two space pioneers. Together, they have the potential to open a new chapter in space exploration, setting the stage for commercial space stations to flourish. However, despite this promising collaboration, significant challenges lie ahead for the Axiom space station. One major hurdle is the need to accelerate progress on its modules. Currently, Axiom Space is grappling with financial difficulties, stemming from high expenditures on multiple fronts. These include substantial payments to Thales Alenia Space, the contractor building the station's modules, and ongoing costs for launching crew missions aboard SpaceX rockets. Additionally, Axiom expanded its workforce in 2022 to advance development efforts, which led to a significant increase in payroll expenses. While some of these employees have since been reassigned to NASA's spacesuit production, the financial strain has resulted in layoffs and slowed progress, further increasing operational costs. Addressing these financial issues will be critical to maintaining momentum. Even if construction and launch timelines are met, Axiom's space station will face fierce competition from other players in the industry. One of the strongest competitors is the VAST space station. Initially overlooked by NASA, VAST has gained attention after integrating SpaceX's Starlink system. 
a move that significantly enhances its capabilities. Moreover, Vast is currently on track to launch as early as 2025, potentially securing a competitive advantage as one of the first commercial stations to enter service. Its head start could position it as a strong contender for future NASA contracts. Another formidable rival is Sierra Space's inflatable module station. This innovative design offers virtually unlimited scalability, making it an attractive option for future missions. Recent tests have demonstrated promising results, signaling steady progress for Sierra Space's project. Without similar groundbreaking advancements, Axiom may find it challenging to compete with this unique station. Lastly, there's the challenge posed by China's Tiangong Space Station. As the ISS approaches retirement, Tiangong could become the only active space station in orbit, giving China a significant strategic advantage. Its modern design, advanced technology, and established operational history make it a strong competitor. Furthermore, its continued expansion and experience in space station operations present a considerable challenge for Axiom. To counter this threat, Axiom may need to explore partnerships with other commercial stations to bolster the U.S. presence in orbit and maintain its competitive edge. To navigate these challenges, Axiom Space must address its financial and operational difficulties head-on. Accelerating module construction, implementing innovative upgrades, and enhancing the competitiveness of its space station will be vital. Additionally, fostering collaboration within the commercial space sector could help Axiom secure a stronger foothold in the market. Indeed, while obstacles remain, the future holds promise for Axiom Space. With the recent positive updates to its schedule and plans, coupled with the unwavering support of SpaceX, Axiom has a strong foundation to build upon. The key question is whether the team can overcome these challenges and realize its ambitious vision. Only time will tell, but one thing is certain. The development of Axiom's space station is a pivotal moment in the evolution of space exploration. So, let's watch closely as this journey unfolds. And with that, thank you so much for tuning in. As always, this has been Kevin from Great SpaceX. Until next time, keep looking up.